Thanks, Bree. Cute. <laughs> Thanks, Bree. Alrighty, what's up? Support. This the mic is so <laughs> huge. <laughs> it's right in the middle. Well, you gotta. Well, we'll, yeah. we'll figure that out yeah, later. We'll, we'll deal with We've that been later. making Scott and Kuro wait for a really long time yeah. to play their set, so you're good. We're good to go. <laughs> Let's get into Let's it, get folks. Going. <laughs> Alrighty, so this is winner's semifinal in the bracket. Oh, we switched back to this color of Mithra. Oh, well, we Goodness gracious. I thought we were ready. <laughs> clearly, halt! Clearly we're a bit Stop! <laughs> no, no, we're good. We're good. All right, we're gearing up here. We got it. Kuro with me for Pyre, and we got Graves with the Zelda. Imagine after all that delay, I was like, oh shoot, I didn't set my controls. <laughs> <laughs> Just after all that? Yeah. Oh my god. I had that in my double set, my first one of the day. We had to restart three times. <laughs> I I had to do a couple of sets, and I kept auto-clicking to, uh, we were Team Yellow, and I kept auto-clicking to the Red Joker. Because <laughs> default. like, I did that like three times. Yo, Solemn is popping off over there. <laughs> yo, yo, Jumping Jack Solemn over here. Yeah. It's like, uh, it's like Odie with the jump rope. <laughs> Everybody's got their little aerobic exercises to stay get in the zone. Get them geared up, get the adrenaline pumping. Yeah. Speaking of adrenaline pumping, I mean, we have seen this matchup time and oh, time again, especially reflect. down in Victoria. And yeah, that was a fantastic as, job. As much as that reflector is the bane of my ever-loving existence, <laughs> that is, it is amazing for me to fire. Especially yeah. against the, uh, the pirate, sorry. Yeah. Throw. Yeah, not too much utility against Mithra. I guess like the Chroma Dust on the up B, you could theoretically reflect that, but I feel like I never see that move reflect. I think if you get hit by the sword part, like you can't act quick enough to reflect it. Nice up air there to take the first stock for Kuro. Exactly know where they're gonna be. So this has been a wild tournament so far. We've seen upsets aplenty. We've seen, I mean, the bracket itself is just full of killers. Oh yeah. Right? No, like we're, we're seeing people that should have like that are like top seeds and the top eight seed. Already down in losers before yeah. the top 16. Yeah, like so we're, see, we're seeing Luna and, and uh, Solemn like round like losers yeah. round three. Or Luna's four. out. Luna's yeah, already Luna's, out. Luna's out. Me and Luna plays the same, which is so so. Weird. I know. It's just it's just wild, and we've yeah. seen some fantastic Ooh. performances. Okay. Air into up smash, just barely kills. Yeah. But just barely misses. Kuro, I mean, doing a really good job of holding oh, on to this yeah. first stock here. Scott, searching for answers at the moment, trying to find a way to break open the deadlock. Rin's managed to uh, to lab like so many different characters, and I feel like the Mithra Pyro has always kind of been on standby for him. And now I feel like just they have a flow of time and labbing. I feel I feel like Rin's just really gotten really really good and solid. Yeah, no, I, I when we played yesterday, he was using the Pyro Mithra, and I mean it was as stellar as always. I know Sephiroth, this is one true love. Pardon me. That's the character that he wants to play most of the time, but I mean. As you mentioned, those really deep pockets. He understands matchups where he might want to go to option B or option C. And obviously this is one of them going against Furious. The thing the thing with uh the thing I, the thing I was gonna say too, with with the Zelda too, it's a lot of like just zoning engage, zoning engage. And I think like feel like Furious isn't afraid to really kind of engage and wait for an opening to really kind of like let loose. Like we've been seeing a few instances where Frey's initiate neutral, stop, wait a moment, and now we're seeing, like seriously, like right there, just waiting, seeing Rin react, seeing Rin react. Oh, and a great pair going over right now. Yeah, oh wow! We're already I, at one stock apiece. Yeah, this is an impressive comeback already from Furez. Even if he's not able to close this one out, at least mentally, this should show him he's not Ooh, getting. Absolutely, body and he forces the directional air dodge. Who dares will get Rin off the stage and not only the first game coming back to Furez. Wow, I'm stunned. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously a little bit of a misinput there. Not not what Kuro was planning to do with no, that directional no, air dodge no, no, off stage, but no, if you're furious, you'll take that. And it, the immediate switch to Sephiroth coming out for Kuro here. Well, we talked about how much he likes that character. So, going with the oh, going with the heart for this one. Go with the character switch. Go with your one true love, as you said. And do we call this home stage advantage for Sephiroth? Because I know he does appear in Kingdom Hearts. Now, the thing with Kingdom Hearts <laughs> is, um, see, you need to understand the scope and scale. I feel like we've done this before. I feel like <laughs> <laughs> something like that, yeah. How do I always end up getting explained Kingdom Hearts lore? I don't care. Oh, buddy. I'm buddy. not interested. <laughs> You're going to be. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I have anything to say about it. But we're going to put our Kingdom Hearts talk aside and focus on the matter at hand. We have the character change for Kuro here with the Sephiroth. Ooh. Already, it's looking pretty even. 
I feel like the range here, the difference in the range, as well as just the damage output, I feel like that might be what Rand was kind of hoping to exploit here. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, did you see what happened in, Kur, in Kuro's double set earlier with Sephiroth? I didn't know. No, so he had a moment. It was 2v1. He was teamed up with Team Duck, and he was going up against Flavortown, was the only one left from his team. And Flavortown managed, playing Mario, to cape a Giga Flare and kill both Duck and oh, Kuro at the same time. I heard him pop off earlier. Yeah, I'm it was sure insane. Like, I was so happy I was there to watch it. Nice! Florida there, right out of shield. But my point in mentioning that, I mean, yes, it was sick on the one hand, but I think the other thing to consider is, I don't know if that's going to still be in Kuro's mind yeah. this much later. I mean, if he's throwing out that move, Zelda does have a reflector as well. Exactly. Um, so. I, feel like, I feel like having to cancel, too. Like, I've seen it a few times, what Kuro's doing. Going for it, going for the charge, going for the missile the charge, the charging, stopping, charging, stopping. If you can mix that up, really throw Furay's off right Yeah. Because that's the thing about the neutral beam reflector that Zelda has. I mean, it's a good reflector. Um, it lasts for a fairly long amount of time, but it is a baitable option, and it has a, a fair bit of end lag. So if you're able to, you know, sort of fake somebody into throwing out that neutral B, there's usually an opportunity to punish. So we'll see. Ooh, is the pick picks, picks up from the ledge. I can't believe that almost killed. I know Sephiroth is light as a feather, but 82. Oh, okay. what a great back here. Great yeah. space. Great work there. I mean, I think the obviously you have a similar situation playing Pyramithra, but with Sephiroth, it's only uh, enlarged the sword is right with the what's it called, the Masamune or uh, I believe so. Yeah, yeah the Masamune. Yeah. Masamune um, so I mean, just spacing Zelda out. Not a fast character. Somebody no. with you know no incredible air drift, nothing to sniff at. So no, nothing really to uh, nothing really to scoff at though either. Like we're already seeing right now. Oh, a great poke off stage. Yeah. From Kuro. A literal poke. A literal, a literal poke. <laughs> That's the uh, souvlaki kebab. <laughs> 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 you know, my man likes Greek food, baby. Oh, oh the reflector. 37 off the top. And that's the thing. The reflector, Sephiroth's reflector. We've been seeing it a few times here. Already reflecting the phantom. Oh, what a great back here. 76. Almost was killed. Ooh, okay. Oh, man, I should pick up off the stage. Okay, okay. Furious is really good at... Ooh! Oh, oh, and the taunt, the full charge! Doesn't have to worry about the out of here! <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, 1-1! One, one. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Wow. Oh, yeah, uh, pretty... <laughs> yeah, no, but like, quite a, uh... Quite a difference there. Showstopper right We're there. God, reduced to atoms. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, oh, the music Oh, oh play man, Lord! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> For those who uh, are unaware in the chat right now, the commentators and the players are literally like two feet away from each other. So I gotta calm down. When JDKD yells, live and learn, you bet that both players can hear that. <laughs> anyway, gotta get to this game three here. It is going to be Final Destination with live and learn. Gotta love it, gotta love it. I wish we could hear the game sounds better. <laughs> I would hear a little <laughs> A hint of live and learn. Have, we don't have uh, headphones this time. So. You're driving down the highway and it's somebody passing you, you know, at 200k. And you can hear they're playing live and learn yeah, on their no, stereo. That's, that's going through the window. That's what it feels like. Yeah. <laughs> you have your windows closed. It does not matter. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, or we're oh, just going to yeah. stick in place here. Yeah, no, two you're already. As, you're as comfortable in that spot on FD, apparently. Oh, nice job by Kuro. Capitalizing on that whiff dash attack. And again, continuing this ledge trap. Already a great getup. Good setup here. Kuro keeping their space. Already has three skittles on board. <laughs> you see, uh, nice. Oh, Furious tried to use the ledge invincibility there to wait out all the skittles, as you called them. <laughs> the gumdrops. The gumdrops, the skittles. Ooh, Ooh and great upbeat. Yeah, not many places to hide. And so if you do land right into Zelda on FD, she does have that opportunity to use the teleport, and that move can kill so early. And we're already seeing, like, just repeated falling, like, again, falling fair, falling fair. One of Sephiroth's fair and butters can really disrupt the flow, get a lot of good damage off. Yep. All that time it connects. Right now. Oh, managed to make it back to stage as well as shield the Phantom. Yeah, that Phantom can be such a nuisance yep. when you're trying to recover. Again, especially on FD where there's fewer places for you to hide. With the timing mix-ups as well that Zelda players have throwing it out, you really have to think extra hard on that. Forward tilt from across the stage is going to kill. Solid. 
We haven't even seen Zephyros the first uh, one win yet. Yep. Ooh, oh, even there he is. Oh, still good. make it back, still make it back. It's all for the wing, it's all for the wing, yep. baby. Yep. <laughs> all for the wing. <laughs> oh, the amount of sacrifice. Sorry, it. All right. Insane it, 100%. You get a bit of rage going here. Yeah, both these players comfortable to play at quite a distance. Obviously, oh, Zephyros yeah. with the sword, but in that case, getting a bit too ambitious. Frey's new. Do not want to be a distance. Want to be close at hand, even if you take a little bit of damage. But Frey's managed to shield that. But even if it got a little bit of damage, it would not be a shield break. Frey's is such a fantastic player. I mean, using Zelda, not considered <laughs> even a medium tier character, no, right? Considered low tier. Considered exactly. low tier, but I think he does such a fantastic job always of being comfortable wherever you he's put him. Seat. Yeah. That's a thing. No, That's no, no. freaking awesome. Yeah, but like if you play at a distance, he's fine. He'll sit back, he'll charge Phantom, and he'll just guard himself. Yep. If you want to go right up against uh, his shield, he's fantastic at, you know, waiting you out, picking out his options properly, and getting those just brutal Zelda aerials that can destroy so destroy stocks, pardon me, in a matter of seconds. Oh, Parry's the down smash. The down smash bets it all. All right. Oh, oh great <laughs> read there from Kuro catching that double jump. Love it, love to see it, especially with one wing too. Yeah. A bit faster, Sue. A bit faster. We'll see how long that wing stays on screen. Okay, oh, Dash is back to get the proper spacing on that forward tilt, but here is aware, able to shield it. Oh, oh, thought we were going to see a grab there, but. No, no, both these players. I mean, it's pretty cagey at this point now, last stock. FD, you get into disadvantage, and it can be, you know, a nightmare trying to get out of it. We got Phantom. Oh, Ooh. we got the Reflector. Yeah, Don't you got to be careful as the interplay between these two characters. Of course, that Phantom, as we mentioned, it can be a thorn in your side as you're trying to recover. But if you can do oh, something like poke, that. We got a full charge Giga Flare coming in. Yeah, good job if you're there. Just going to wait. Oh, that's a two frame. Now I can hear the live and learn. <laughs> Such a good song to pick for this. So far and wide. Seats right now, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Well, is fishing for this up oh. air a little bit here. He understands that Kuro's Kuro. using his jumps quite a bit. Kuro trying to get in. Oh, go for the attack! He's alive! God, the gods coming in! <laughs> I mean, all of her moves are named after gods. You know, oh, Nehru's love. It's fire with the oh, forward tilt. Reads the neutral get up. And that oh. is a 2-1 to one lead for Kuro the Sephiroth. 2-0 oh now in this winner's semi set. 2-1. No, the Sephiroth. Is. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah the the Pyramithra yeah, is 0-1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point, good point. Oh, immediately back to FD, oh. immediately with Live and Learn again, yeah, as, let's go, let's as God go. intended. <laughs> Sticking with the Zephyroth. Alright, amateur bracket started. You do not get caught in. <laughs> Alrighty, game four here. Furs was having no second thoughts about the stage or the song pick for this one, so we'll see if the FD pick will work out this time. I can understand why Zelda would like this stage. I mean, the difficulties that her opponents will have just fighting their way out of disadvantage, but so far pretty even stuff for stock. Exactly. So right, we're already seeing right now, right out of the gate, Bray is just going in with so much pressure. And again, that almost killed from across the stage at 92? Hello? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you aren't sick, are you? No. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> Alrighty. No, the, the, um, the allergies are probably Yeah, no. Sweet. Same thing, same thing. And you know what uh, Zelda looks like to be allergic to there? It is that. that I don't think that was Giga Flare. I think that was Mega Flare that came through. That was, yeah, the yeah. second tier. <laughs> oh, we got one wing angel yeah. on deck now. It's a, it's a tough spot for Furious to be in. I mean, this is only 85 on the Sephiroth. Yes, he's a very light character, and I mean, a lot of her aerials will kill at this point, but Kuro just seems to be dialed in. Reads that double Kuro, jump again. Kuro is getting all these reads, all these posts, all these up there. Up there. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, no, not fair, not fair. Not fair. Yeah, it seems like point point. in those situations where it is point blank, as you talked about, Fura seems to be coming out on top. I mean, you have that neutral beat that we just saw there. Oh, Rolling oh. in, okay. Man, that's it. <laughs> I thought that angle would do it yeah, as, since soon, as soon as I came in. If Zelda was pinballing there, got hit by the F smash, and then it was just clink, 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 getting hit by the side beast. That's the thing I'm noticing, too. Uh, 
uh, Kuro is keeping, keeping his distance so, so well. Not getting a charge by any of these. Up to up, 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 up. But he's definitely keeping his distance. Zephyroth works so, so well to snuff out any distance. Ooh! He's trying to give, just like that. Able to space it so much, for race thinks he's safe. Not against Zephyroth. I couldn't tell if that was a shield drop or if that move just poked, but regardless of how it happened, this looks to be a very solid spot for Kuro. I mean, we remember what happened in game one. That was a solid spot got for Kuro Kuro's as well. On deck. Gonna, well, Ray's using the option to go off stage. He's oh, just the, that was really, really smart. Does the neutral B not reflect those outs when that uh, that looks like uh, Fira still got hit by them? I feel like it's, oh, what an amazing! Amazing back there. This one is not over yet. All right. Hell no. 79% here on Furious. Uses the get up invincibility to get around that mega flare. Ray's going in for a lot of just, just dashing in, trying to trying to upset, get some damage. Well, yeah, every time that those two are right up in each other's grills, Furious is coming up. Not every time, but more often than not. Oh, dude, come on, jump up there, reflect it. <laughs> That's oh, I what I want to see. Yeah, you wanted to see the reflect. Come on. Come on. Come on, hold on again. Got to make another mega flare. Mega flare. Ooh, makes it back to stage. Yeah, got the invincibility hanging off of a ledge there and just hanging on for dear life as Furious catches another forward air. Okay. And these parries, too, are just showing up fear and then some. Oh, and that's the issue with that neutral B. It can be a laggy option. And when you put it right there in, you know, honestly, Sephiroth's wheelhouse, oh, that's yeah. sort of like sore length away. I mean, it that's is the curtains. There's a little bit of a pause before you actually, like, after yeah. you let go, you go down. There's that little pause. So, Kuro will book his spot in winner's finals here. Yeah, that was a fantastic set Great. to watch. There's amateur bracket. <laughs> You're gonna abandon me for I, amateur bracket? I'll probably get 0-2, I don't care. What are you, an amateur? Yeah, something like that.